Imagine waking up to the news that some of the most infamous criminals of the past few decades, murderers, serial killers, and those who committed shockingly brutal acts, could soon walk free from prison. Welcome to Brainy Bits! From a deadly Swedish mercenary to the Canadian pig farmer killer to the man who assassinated John Lennon, today we'll look at 10 notorious criminals who are approaching parole eligibility or have already been approved for release as early as 2024 or 2025 after serving lengthy sentences behind bars. While their horrific crimes garnered national media attention and outrage, many of these convicts will have an opportunity to go before parole boards in the coming months and years to plet their cases for rejoining society. Number 10. Jackie Arklov Let's start with Jackie Arklov, a former Swedish mercenary and convicted war criminal who carried out the ruthless murder of two police officers in 1999. Originally given a life sentence, Arklov shockingly saw his prison term commuted to just 41 years after a controversial ruling. Unless the prosecution's appeal succeeds, this cold-blooded killer of cops could rejoin society as soon as 2026. Number 9. Elena Kalichis Elena Kiglichis, a Staten Island woman, was sentenced to 22 years to life in 2002 for murdering her wealthy jet fuel businessman husband Boris after a dispute over money and her affair. She took her children to Disney World and tried to make it seem like Boris had left them. Kaylichis will go before a parole board in 2024, attempting to be released earlier in her sentence for the calculated slaying. Number 8. Michael Taylor in 1990, disabled Vietnam vet James Zappalorti was murdered in what became Staten Island's first officially ruled hate crime case based on the victim's sexual orientation. The perpetrator, Michael Taylor, originally intended to just rob Zappalorti, but things took a shockingly violent turn. Having previously served time for assaulting another man, Taylor is currently locked up on a 23 years to life sentence for Zappalorti's disturbing murder. However, he is now scheduled for a parole hearing in May 2024, where he could seek an early release. Number 7. Robert Picton No list of notorious criminals would be complete without including the name Robert Picton, infamously known as the Pig Farmer Killer in Canada. Convicted in 2007 of murdering six women, the number of victims is believed to be much higher as evidence revealed Picton may have started killing as early as the 1990s, soon after inheriting the family's pig farm operation in Port Coquitlam. After spending 25 years in prison as required under Canadian law, the serial killer is set to reach a legal threshold in 2024. Number 6. Patrick Goodman in the 2002 case that stunned the San Francisco community, Patrick Goodman was convicted of killing his girlfriend's young son in an act of brutality that prosecutors described as senseless. Goodman was handed a 25-year prison sentence, but despite objections from the DA's office who wanted him kept behind bars, the parole board opted to grant him release on parole in December 2023. Goodman's parole decision faces a mandatory review, but unless California's governor intervenes by overturning it, the child killer will officially walk free in April 2024. Number 5. Edmund Kemper Edmund Kemper, a towering 6 foot and 9 inches serial killer, was convicted in 1973 of eight murders, having previously killed his grandparents. Though eligible for parole as early as 1979, his requests have been denied over four decades, most recently in 2017 at age 68. Now 73 and serving multiple life sentences, Kemper will again be eligible for a parole hearing in 2024. Number 4. Susan Smith in 1994, the unthinkable case of Susan Smith shattered prevailing views of motherhood when the South Carolina woman initially played the role of a distraught, bespectacled parent, pleading for her two young sons' safe return after claiming they had been victims of a carjacking. However, Smith's lies soon began to unravel as police grew suspicious, and the chilling truth was revealed. She had calmly drowned both boys in a lake in a horrifically selfish act. Handed a life sentence in 1995, Smith has now spent nearly 30 years behind bars for the Daubla infanticide and will get her first real chance at parole in November 2024. Number 3. Yolanda Saldivar On the verge of crossing over into mainstream pop success, Tejano music icon Selena Quintanilla was shockingly murdered on March 31, 1995 by the president of her own fan club who she had planned to confront about financial discrepancies. 
Yolanda Saldivar pulled a gun on the 23-year-old singer after an argument ensued during their meeting, gunning down Selena and cutting short her immense talent and star power in its prime. Given a life sentence, Saldivar will become eligible for parole consideration in March 2025 after three decades locked up for the cold-blooded killing. Number 2. Mark David Chapman on December 8, 1980, the world mourned the devastating loss of cultural icon John Lennon after the beloved former Beatle was shot dead by an obsessive fan named Mark David Chapman. In a premeditated act, the unassuming Chapman laid in wait outside Lennon's New York City apartment building before unleashing a barrage of gunfire as the singer returned home, killing the renowned musical artist and peace activist at just 40 years old. Though he initially pleaded guilty, Chapman was sentenced to 20 years to life and has since been denied parole an incredible 12 separate times over the past few decades as he continues receiving psychiatric treatment behind bars. 2024 will mark his 13th attempt to gain release. Number 1. Anthony Center and Joseph Testa During the violent mob wars of the 1970s and 80s in New York City, Anthony Center and Joseph Testa, known as the Gemini Twins, were ruthlessly efficient contract killers and hitmen. Childhood friends who operated out of the Gemini Lounge in Brooklyn, they gained a dark reputation for their cold-blooded methods of making targets disappear. Arrested and convicted in 1989 on 10 counts of murder and racketeering, both received life sentences. However, Center was shockingly granted parole in 2022 and has been residing at a halfway house since December 2023. Even more unbelievably, Testa is now scheduled for release from prison in April 2024 after serving over 30 years, likely reopening wounds for victims' loved ones. What did you think of this list? Were you shocked by any of these potential releases? Or do you feel the convicts have served enough time considering the brutality of their crimes? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Brainy Bits for more jaw-dropping facts.